There are thousands of tunes in the tradition, so when we sit down for a rehearsal, our job really isn't to find material, it's to exclude material, because we'd play them all if we could, you know. I'm Mick Maloney. I'm from Limerick in the southwest of Ireland. I play music. I suppose uh, on my tombstone I want the, the inscription banjo driver because the tenor banjo is my main instrument. I play Irish music in, in various parts of the world with various people, including people like Athena Turgis, who's rehearsing with me here this morning. Generally speaking, we come up with novel sets of tunes, all right, but they're tunes we would have had in our, almost in our DNA for decades. And this is an oral tradition. I mean, you can learn it from books and learn it from CDs and records, but it's basically oral. We learn it from other people. And it lodges somewhere in your body. And, and then some association, a person's name, will suddenly lead to you remembering something that you've forgotten for a while. And there's nothing more exhilarating than playing something you've forgotten. This is the tenor banjo. This one here is made by a man in County Galway. And it's just, uh, even there, the piece of vulgarity which banjos always kind of aspire to, my own name. There are more young musicians playing the traditional music at the highest possible level than ever have been before. People playing Irish music in the past would have come from maybe the poorer aspects of rural Ireland, you know, fishermen, farmers, and ended up in blue collar occupations in America and being wonderful musicians, but with no formal training. Now, the people who are playing today, they would acknowledge that these people are the masters, but these are people who would have been exposed to formal lessons, Suzuki violin like Athena, at the age of six or seven. So you have the combination of technical excellence with a real respect for the repertoire of the past. And these young musicians in New York, it's, it, all I can describe the scene is it's a renaissance scene. And if you go to any number of pubs, any night of the week in New York City, you'll hear Irish music at its finest. Mm -hmm. 